This photo is one of my favorites from all of our travels. It's me and my little girl Dorothy deep diving in the oceans of Tonga. But just wait till you see the whole picture. Good morning from Tonga, the kingdom of Tonga. Wait, look, right here, at my hand. Whoa, your eyes are super pretty. Look at my hand. Your eyes still look pretty. I think we need to do something better for our like, hello. Okay. What should it be? Let's do like old school voicemails. Hi, this is the G family. Oh no, that's the worst. What should we do? It's been three years and now we do have a really cool intro. Roll the intro. We're just your average family who is choosing to live a not so average life. We decided to sell everything and leave our home for an adventure around the world. And now we are the bucket list family. Garrett, Jessica, Dorothy, Manila, and Callie. Welcome to our family adventure. Where are we off to next? We're so cool now. We're so legit. Three years later. Yeah. It only took three years, guys. Yeah. Please. Flashback three years ago. Tonga was our first big stop on our adventure around the world. It has been three years as a full-time traveling family with no home, and here we are finishing it here back in Tonga. Our favorite thing in all of our travels is sharing experiences with others, especially when it's something like as amazing as, and epic and bucket list as swimming with whales in Tonga. Like, you just can't get better. This year, we brought Derek, Brooks, and Chloe. Derek Huff, do you know who that is? Derek Huff. Because the girls at the market did it. Because, oh, okay, first of all, <laughs> best story ever. Our very first day here, he was walking around holding Manila's hand, and these girls at start, the marketplace. start freaking out. And Derek, who in the United States is quite famous, he's wonderful. Nah, he's Mr. Worldwide. Yeah, okay. He's, he's a big deal. He's a big deal. So These, these girls gr start freaking out. He keeps this cool, and he's like, ladies, ladies. <laughs> And the girls run up and are like, that's Manila! They don't recognize Derek, but they recognize Manila. He was so funny about it. He was just like, oh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, it's Manila. <laughs> anyway, Derek, we love you. Great him. story. So Derek is a professional dancer, like a really good dancer. And he, Dorothy was lucky enough to get a few tips on dancing the Tonga Tango. Dorothy doesn't even realize, like she just thinks, oh, this really cool guy this just cool gave guy, me his own right? dance. <laughs> Dorothy. And Dorothy doesn't even realize, like. But she was good, huh? Did yeah. You see that? That's good. Okay. <laughs> Vanilla, come here, bud. Vanilla, come, come here, buddy. Vanilla, come sit right here. It. Actually, Vanilla, watch this. Come here, come here, bud. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Try this. Watch this. Watch this, Dorothy. Do this. Ready? You're gonna put your hand on your hip. Watch your toe. That's it. That's it. That's it. I see you. I see you. Okay. <laughs> now you ready? Now look. Now this hand is strong up like this. That's it, like this. So strong. Now see my hands? See my fingers? That's it. Good. Good. That's one. And then point that. That's it. Good, good. Now look to the left. That's it. Good, 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 good. Like a barrel, like this. Like this, right? Alright, now close your arms like this. Right? Good. Put your hand there. Put your arm here. Nice. Now hold like this. That's it. Close your legs, Dorothy. Close your legs. That's it. Now face this way. Face this way. Dorothy, look, look to the left. That's it. Now look to the right. Nice. Now go. Now go. Now look, go, go. Go. So I'm gonna go. On the count of three, I want you to go. One, two. You ready? So one, two, three. Look, look. Ready? One, two, three. Look, look. One, 
Dorothy, you're doing three. great. Look, look. Nice. <laughs> Good. Nice, guys. Next, introducing Brooks Like. Former forward and winger, center iceman. Locker has called him at times a Swiss Army knife, a big smile on Brooks's face. Brooks played professional hockey and is a beast. And every morning before we went out on the boat, we did a workout with him. And gosh, I thought they were easy. He was like, yeah, sit-ups, push-ups, whatevs. It'll take like 15 minutes. <laughs> I Turns out died. you can kill yourself in 15 minutes or less. But you got a light bill too. If you're into fitness, if you're into health, like we are, especially if you have a lifestyle where you're traveling a bunch or need to be able to exercise and work out and not in a gym, you need to check out and follow Brooks Like. He's got this thing in the works that is perfect for you. Check it out. And lastly, Miss Chloe Egbert. I have been putting this video off for months now and I'm driving from Vegas to Utah right now to go back to school and I decided. Chloe's just amazing and has been a lifesaver here. She's helped with the kids while we've gone out on the boat some of the days and. But this is what's been so great is they're not just like chilling back at home watching movies. Every day I get back, I'm like, hey, Dorothy Manel, what you guys do today? And then they just have the coolest stories of all the fun the adventures times. they had with Chloe. What? This is the best part about sharing something you love with someone who's never experienced it before. You get to re-experience yeah. it as if for your first yeah, time. Because yeah, yeah. to see Brooks and Derek head out to this in just their level of excitement and then unforgettable moment when they see a whale for their first time. First morning in Tonga, I'm walking down to the boat. We're going diving with humpback whales. So the boat comes to our dock. You can see it coming in right here. Leaving the marina with two pairs of virgin eyes, having never seen whales before, yeah. and that changes today. Yeah, Woo! Changes. <laughs> Seven minutes. Let's go. You can see the wake.
That's guys, unbelievable. Guys, that right coming unbelievable. right towards us, I was like, no. I know. I know. <laughs> the mom looked at me, and the baby looked at me, and was like, oh, baby. See how they're baby. totally aware of you? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I lay under the moon. I thank God I'm breathing. And then I pray, don't take me soon. I am here for a reason. heard you say it's gonna breach ah. oh brother did you see that yeah oh, oh brother go, i got it oh, oh brother oh. Wow. this is insane <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. all right back on the dock back on the dock Did you hear that? I got it. Not <laughs> a girl.
hold on to my back, okay? All right, you ready for this? I got you safe. So now it's gonna go hold its breath and it'll come back up, okay? <laughs> Is that incredible? <laughs> Good job, Dorothy. Nice, huh? Aren't they big and beautiful? I saw you wave. <laughs> Good, Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy. <laughs> We didn't know how she was gonna react, you know? Like, she could have been course, scared. Of like course, a she little didn't... girl, big open ocean, big, big whale. But then we get back in the boat after that first drop and I look up at Garrett and he's just so thankful. Tears like welling up in his eyes and he's just but out then, of his mind But happy. then our guide, Scotty, he shows me his camera and I see this picture and it was, every time. <laughs> um, He shows me this picture that he had just captured at that moment. And not only did I see my family with the whales, it's just everything that it represented. It was, this, this photo was three years in the making. It was three years of gaining the trust of our children. Three years of getting them comfortable in the water. Three years of helping them fall in love with wildlife the same way that we have fallen in love with wildlife. And so all of that coming together for this one moment that was so beautifully captured, as soon as I saw that photo. He just turned. <laughs>
Thanks Scotty for capturing that moment and thanks Brooks for filming that moment. part of our time here in Tonga was when we brought the whole family out. Hey, I didn't know you guys came up here. <laughs> guys, Kelly's here. Kelly! Yeah! Welcome aboard, big boy. You gotta listen closely to Dorothy. She's gonna tell you how to find the whales. Okay, big boy. I'm by myself too. You want to swim by yourself today? Yeah. Go. <laughs> Good job, Manila. I'm gonna jump on the side. Did you hear that, Bedelda? Come here, come here. Right there, right there. Right there, right there. Okay, climb on my back, Bedelda. Are you on? All right, I got you safe. Hold on to my back, I'll take you to the whales. Everyone has a reaction, that was Vanilla's. <laughs> Alright, you ready buddy? I keep swimming. <laughs> you wanna keep swimming? Let's ride the whales again, then we'll keep swimming. <laughs> oh, say what happened with you and Manila on the very last day. I'll show you what happened. Manila, hold on! <laughs> No, this is what happened. It was a crazy, crazy choppy day, like madness out there. And uh, we're like, you know what, let's give it one jump, see if we can see anything. And we get in and we see a mother and a calf, okay? And even though the water was going crazy, they seemed, seemed pretty calm. But all of a sudden, I'm pointing the baby out to Manila and the baby just kicks up. The calf is going to the surface and the calf breaches. When the calf breaches, I have the GoPro on my head because Manila's on my back and I'm like needing hands on to help Manila. So I have GoPro on my head. I see the calf coming up to the surface. So I kick up to the surface with it and somehow capture the breach of the calf. But when I come up, I hear this boom and I see this big breach spray from an escort, from an adult male whale. Just poof, and I was like, oh my gosh, where'd that come from? And then all of a sudden to the left, boom, here comes the mom. And then out of nowhere, another adult poof, breaches out. 
you can count, if you look closely, 12 different breaches going on in this bay. Already crazy water, and me and Manila are just there in the water, like holding on for dear life. And I thought Manila would be freaking out. But again, to my amazement, Manila is just laughing and giggling, and we're just going crazy together. You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, where feet may fail. And there I find you in the mystery, in oceans deep, my faith Back to the boat, back to the boat. And you are mine. What? Hi. You want to keep swimming? Sure, sure. I remember getting back in the boat and being like, this is why we did this. This is why we left home. This is why we took these risks. This is why we work so hard. Because of experiences and memories like this together as a family. Our last video is a full-time traveling family. What are we gonna be next? Part Not so homeless. You know what I was thinking about? We have learned that we value experiences over things. And at the end of the day, the house is just a thing. 
but it's up to us to create special memories and experiences at this house to make it more than a house, to make it our family's home. So lovely. So, now that this video is ending, go watch the episode on traveling home of how Tonga has inspired the exterior of our house. Links below. Any final words? as a full-time traveling family. All right, why don't we finish how we started? Remember when we used to like flip the camera that we did here? The old camera flip? All right, let's do it. Bye, everyone. <sighs> camera flip. Hmm.